Hope you're doing what I love, and welcome back to another episode of NFL Playoff Predictions. Last time we did Week 14, and today we'll be doing Week 15, but let's recap a pretty great week here in the NFL. Let's start off with the Bears beating the Dallas Cowboys, which I'm, you know, super happy about, and this was one of the games I got incorrect. In all my predictions, I went 10 out of 16. Another game I got incorrect was, man, this amazing Niners Saints team. The Niners ended up winning it. We had the LA Rams winning it on Sunday Night Football, a bit of a showing from them, and we had the Eagles staying alive in the NFC East, being the Giants. A really underrated game here with the Colts and Buccaneers. I thought this was a really fantastic game to watch with the Tampa Bay winning. Steelers defense, Steelers looking like a playoff team. Speaking of playoffs, the Titans making a case. They looked really good against the Raiders. We had the Chiefs winning. We had, you know, Phil Rivers winning on his birthday. Drew Locke and the Broncos upset the Texans. I didn't see that coming. And the Ravens clinch a playoff spot. So speaking of the Ravens, as we go to week 15, they host the New York Jets on the final Thursday night football game. That's right, because we take a look, um, look ahead till next week, there's only Saturday games. Um, there's no um, Thursday night. I think it's like this game and then I think a couple others on Thursday, and then week 17 is all Sunday games. So this is the final Thursday night game um, battle of Sam Darnold and the New York Jets versus Lamar Jackson, the Ravens. From last year's draft class, I have the Ravens winning. They're one of the best teams in the NFL, if not the best. I think they'll get a pretty nice win here at home. We have the Patriots Bengals. A lot of interesting media, but I think New England wins. Bengals, I think, will be having the number one overall pick. Broncos Chiefs. Um, I think the Chiefs will win. I know Drew Locke's looking pretty good, but Patrick Mahomes has been amazing. If this game was in Denver, I could maybe see Denver's defense and Drew Locke getting the win, but it's tough to play in Kansas City. I think the Chiefs will win this game. And then we have this Bills-Steelers game, which actually got flexed to Sunday night. Really two teams in the playoff race. Man, I'm excited for this game. You have Josh Allen and that Bills offense and that defense. That defense really held Baltimore in check versus the Steelers defense with Duck Hodges, he's doing well. I think this game will be close. I think it'll be three points or less. I'm going to go with the Bills. I want to go Steelers with a home field advantage, but I trust the Bills running game a bit more, and I think they'll be able to control some clock. Okay, this is big in the AFC South. Titans, Texans here. Who's going to win that spot? They play each other twice in the next three weeks. I think round one here goes to the Titans. I think they're Henry Ryan Tannehill, who's looking really good. I think they're going to beat Houston at home. Houston's talented, but they're inconsistent. I think the Titans get a huge win. Jaguars, Raiders. The Jaguars don't look that great. The Raiders, I don't know if they'll make the postseason, but they still have some talent. Going on to the NFC games. Buccaneers, Lions. Um, I think that Jameis Winston and Tampa Bay are going to pop the points to win. I know that Tampa Bay is not in the playoff um, conversation to eliminate, but I think they're a team that could be pretty promising next year. Bears, Packers. Um, I don't think any division upsets are going to happen. I think Green Bay is going to take care of business. I don't think it'll be a huge win, but I could say 7 to 10 points Green Bay. Seattle and Carolina. You know, usually Russell Wilson and Cam Newton duel it out, but Cam Newton's not playing. I'm going to go Seattle. I mean, Seattle's one of the best teams. Panthers are really struggling. Um, I think the Seahawks win. I think this could be the blowout game of the week. I think Seattle could win by, like, 20 points. Eagles, Redskins, Redskins are a tricky team for Philly, and they have a really good run game, but the Eagles were able to contain Saquon Barkley, and so I think the Eagles defense will be doing a good job against the Redskins running game, and I think they'll win. I know Alshon Jeffries on the offense is not the best, but I think they'll do enough to win. Falcons, 49ers, 49ers, one of the best teams, I think they'll win um, pretty big. I think both this and the Seahawks-Panthers game could be at the blowout games of the week. And then Rams-Cowboys. I think L.A. wins it. Going into Dallas, I think they get it done. We've seen Jared Goff improve over the past two weeks, and that defense has been looking pretty good. And I think Jaron Ramsey will take care of Amari Cooper. We have some really interesting AFC-NFC games here. The Miami Dolphins and the New York Giants here. The Miami Dolphins are a team that's looking better every week. They beat the Eagles a couple weeks ago. I know they didn't beat New York, but they look better. I do think... They might have lost to the Jets, but I think they beat the Giants here, this New York team. I think the Dolphins win. I just really like their coaching staff and their team plays with passion. I think that's really important. I don't know who's starting for the Giants, but I think Miami will win. 
Browns Cardinals here. Baker Mayfield versus Kyler Murray. Murray, two number one overall picks. I think this will be a very exciting, high-scoring game. I do think Cleveland's gonna win. You know what? I think the Cardinals are gonna win it. I think they have that home field advantage. I just trust them. I, the Browns are talented. I don't know they beat Cincinnati, but at moments the Browns have had things like fumbles and a lot of penalties. I think that the Cardinals are the more disciplined team. I, I think they're better than their record. I think that their losing streak will end here. Then you have the Vikings Chargers here. I think the Vikings are going to win. I think the Chargers are better than people are saying, but Minnesota is one of the best teams in the NFC. Now we end here on Monday Night Football. Jacoby Brissett and the Indianapolis Colts take on Drew Brees in the New Orleans Saints. I think it's going to be a really fun game. The Colts have been putting up some points. I really like Jacoby Brissett. Saints, Drew Brees, always fun to watch. I think they'll win. Um, I think they're a the better team, but I think it'll be a really fun matchup. And that, guys, does it here for Week 15. So let me know your thoughts down below, um, and I'll see you guys next time.